Many of the popular coins, such as Polygon or Avalanche, are supported in Trezor. However, you will have to use a third-party wallet such as MetaMask to use these coins since they run on their own chains. These are called EVM-compatible chains or Ethereum virtual machines. EVM is a computation engine that acts like a decentralized computer that has millions of executable projects. It acts as the virtual machine, which is the bedrock of Ethereum's entire operating structure. First, pair your Trezor with MetaMask. See our separate video here for the full manual. Once you have set up your MetaMask, you are connected to the Ethereum network by default. Now, we need to add the chain of a coin that we want to receive. Here is an example with Polygon. With your Trezor connected to MetaMask, visit the website chainless.org. This is an open source project containing hundreds of EVM chains that you can add to your MetaMask in just a few clicks. Click Connect Wallet in the upper right corner to connect your MetaMask. Search for Polygon and click Connect Wallet under the chain name. And just like that, you are all set. You can now see the Polygon chain in a drop-down menu in the upper right corner of your MetaMask. Let's add another one. This time search for Avalanche and proceed the same way. Now, you can receive and send coins as usual. Remember, all these networks are Ethereum virtual machines, so you always use your Ethereum receive address. This address does not change for any specific coin, it is always the same. When someone sends a coin to your address, you just have to be connected to the correct network to see it. It is also possible to add a custom network to MetaMask manually. Click Add Network and fill out the details. You will have to research these values for each network. This is only an optional way of adding a network and might be useful for small chains and coins. When sending coins from exchanges, you will simply provide them with your Ethereum address, but the coins will be sent on the mainnet. They will still arrive in your wallet safely and you can switch between chains at any time. Hopefully, this video helped you to understand EVM chains and how to use them. Check our other videos for more manuals. Thanks for watching.